trending lower again on Friday. What could prop them back up this week? Michelle Rook is back with Markets Now. A down day on Friday in the grains. Ag Trader Talks, uh, Garrett Toy is back with analysis. And let's talk a little bit about the sell-off on Friday. We've had a good rally, obviously, in the grain. So was it just profit taking? Did we hit some chart resistance? You know, we had a we had a 30 cent rally in corn off the lows. We've had nearly a 70 cent rally in soybeans. Um, you know, we had kind of expected some sort of bottom around first nose day for the September contract for the seasonality of things. Um, but I do think that the rally may have run its course near term, especially ahead of this crop production report this week. Uh, that market may turn a little bit more choppy. But uh, you know, to have a 30 cent rally in corn, 70 cent in bean type, this type of move ahead of harvest. Uh, is, is, is kind of a gift, in my opinion. Uh, it shows us how oversold we were and, and how down in the doubts we were. Uh, it may give an opportunity for producers who have something to move at harvest that can't store it uh, to make some sales here real quick. So with the big sell-off on Friday, I'm sure you're going to have farmers that say, oh, man, is the rally over? What's your thoughts? I, I don't think so. Um, I think it's, it may be over for now. Uh, like I said, I, I'm 75% you know, confident that we've probably put in our lows. Can we have a setback? Absolutely. Um, do we push into new highs between now and October 15th? Mm, probably not. I think you're, you're probably looking at a more choppy market over the next 30 to, to 45 days. Um, you know, when do we want to rally again? You know, harvest is 50% complete would be an, a, 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 a perfect time. Uh, but right now it's, 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 uh, it's probably going to turn a little bit more choppy and see what uh, the USDA says as far as uh, what they think uh, the crop size is. Yeah. So you say we've maybe already traded the biggest crop. What is your sense about how slow USDA may, may be, though, in pulling yields down, if at all, here in the September WASD coming up? The amount of adjustments lower that I envision are minimal. Um, it's just that, and probably at the end of the day, the fact that we took a little bit off the top end of the crop is probably probably a good thing because because this crop could have been you know, a, a big problem uh, from a production side, just massive crops um, if, if the trend had continued. All right, thanks for joining us. Uh, Garrett Triag, Trader Tuck, a little more day coming up. Watch Markets Now with Michelle Rook on the Farm Journal YouTube channel, keeping you updated throughout the day on the markets at the open midday and close. Find out what moved the markets today and what to expect the market to do next.